Now, it seems there's a situation of fuel scarcity across the, in the FCT. What is the status report? Well, for now, I think I will fall back on the statement issued by the NNPC where they say there were the tightness was witnessed in Abuja and Lagos and it's due to the challenges with operations of discharge of a couple of vessels. And like you did say, you started with the good news that a key player is also getting access to more supply. The issues around supply complexity are always with us. It's so bad that because we take petrol and every part of our livelihood depends on it for now until we deepen gas utilization, it's easy that one day distraction or disruption rather in the supply chain will take a long period for us to go back to normalcy. But they did say in their statement that they're working with all key players to ensure they restore normalcy. And before coming here, from, I'm thinking of also going out to update us on what is happening. Right. Uh, some of the key players I spoke with behind the scene who don't want to come forth on camera also express concern that the issues around the projected uh, uh, protests, we're praying and keeping our fingers crossed that it doesn't hold, but that some of them are a bit cautious to allow their trucks on the road because, you know, most of this petrol are transported be with trucks. But hopefully, since key players are interfacing, I believe it will be resolved as soon as possible. We pray so. I'm not giving a final <laughs> word because I'm just a journalist, yeah. not a key player in the sector. Right. Yeah. Now, there are some concern in some quarters. You know, we understand that um, marketers are just dispensing fuel to buyers, that is, independent marketers are not selling. How true is this? I, I can't be able to say whether it's true or not, but when there are issues around challenge, uh, supply challenge, the complexity is such that the little you have, some people will hoard. You understand? And some that are willing to sell will, uh, would have exhausted what they have at the moment and expecting. But because they say they are walking around the clock, our prayer is that we'll see more trucks coming in. And perhaps when I leave here and go to the field, I will have a better update. But definitely the downstream is closest to us as the people. And even now coming to office, I was also looking at my fuel gauge, praying that I wouldn't stop halfway. <laughs> so it affects everyone. So as soon as I leave here, I'm going to the field to find out more. And I pray I'll come with a better update. And I hope that you get a full tank <laughs> when you, you get there. We should say to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lydia, for that update. Thank you for having me. Right.